Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back. So actually, this is going to be about what was on the news this morning. I found out from my mom. A six-year-old Down Syndrome girl or boy. I'm not 100% sure, but it sounds like it was a little girl sat here and did a gun symbol. They sat here and they actually called the police on her because of that. Me being a person that had a sister that had Down syndrome, I understand more about Down syndrome. A lot of you out there understand too. The thing is is that she didn't know what Down syndrome children and adults and teenagers do. They mimic. So if they see something on TV or a child or somebody sits here and does a gun symbol and sits here and they mimic. That's the way that they learn. So the child didn't know. I mean, heck, a kid could have sat here and said, go ahead and do it. It means that you love her. Down syndrome pe people are actually very loving. They do not hold a grudge. They are the most loving people ever. They will hug a person. I mean, literally, my sister would go behind her teachers and give them a hug. She was the most loving person ever. And that's the thing. Down syndrome, children, adults, teenagers... They are loving. They do not hold grudges. And it's amazing how big their heart is. And for a school to sit here and call the police on a Down Syndrome little girl that is in first grade, six years old, because she did a gun symbol, you really think that she's going to sit here and go out and do that? No. They love. <laughs> and it's like, it amazes me how people can discriminate against them. I mean, I, when I worked... At times, there was a lot of people that had Down Syndrome and everything. And they would sit here and they would say, I wish that was as good as a cleaner as you. They sit here and they say that you have to treat them like they're normal and everything. Me, I sat here and I said, practice makes perfect. I'm like, you are perfect just the way that you are. The way that you clean is perfect. I said, don't worry about sitting here copying me and everything. I, it's just, they sit here and they mimic. And that's the thing. Why Teresa passed away is because the babysitter, and I'm not going to say the person's name, but the babysitter had a, a child on her lap swinging on the wooden swing set, which automatically in Teresa's mind, she said, oh, that's okay. So, when the babysitter sat here, and even though she said, no, no, no. In Teresa's mind, she thought that that was okay. 
even though she was told no, no, no. They sit here and they see things and they mimic. So, when the babysitter was in the house and we turned away for that little bit, she went down and did what she thought that was okay. So she swung on the swing set. Unfortunately, it did sit here and cause her death. But that's the thing that people need to understand. They don't do things out of trying to hurt people. They sit here and they see a teacher do something. They will mimic them. They see a child doing something. They will mimic them. A teenager or adult, the same thing. Because that is the way that they learn. And they don't understand because they have a mind of a child through their basically their whole life. It's like they could be a teenager and they have a mind of a six year old. An adult, they could have a mind of a ten or a teenager. And they sit here and they just say mimic stuff. I mean, yeah. It is a fear that Down Syndrome, they sit here and see about shootings on TV, and yeah, it's the fear, because they do mimic. But the thing is, is they wouldn't hurt. They love too much. And I can honestly say they are the most amazing people in the world. I mean, no hate, they love, they don't hold grudges like most people do. And I'm proud, I really am. I'm proud to say that I had a sister that had Down Syndrome. Because I watched her as she growed and she just, she loved fully. I mean, fully. Oh my gosh. It's just like you, you could look at my sister and she radiated with love. You could just sit here and just feel it and everything. And. I mean, some cannot sit here and communicate the way, like for example, Teresa, she can speak, so um, she did what she could. Unfortunately, when she was on her PMS, she stabbed my mom in the arm with a fork. Um, but really, anything that was in her hand, she would have sat here and probably slapped my mom with a teddy bear if she had that in her hand at that point. <laughs> but the main thing is they love. I mean, they really, really, truly do. And I think a lot of people need to be more aware of Down Syndrome. They need to take classes. They, um, just need to learn. They need more awareness, um, about it. Um, because a lot of people don't understand. Um, they haven't had a chance like me and my family have with having Teresa. Um, and everything and I just I think that there needs to be more awareness I think that there needs to um, be learning for teachers um, people and jobs and everything if um, they are going to have special needs um, children in classes and work 
so then they can um, be more aware, um, know more, um, and just basically learn and more awareness. Um, because I, I mean, I understand a lot, a lot of you guys don't understand um, everything, but with awareness and watching videos and everything, I think it would really help everybody um, to understand because, I mean, they are special and everything and um, and just everybody needs awareness so then they can understand more about um, how to deal with situations with certain things and how to talk to them like with Down Syndrome people you are told to treat them like they are normal sit here and talk to them normally don't sit here and say no no you're not supposed to do that it's supposed to be no you're not supposed to do that that is not right so like I said I honestly do I think people in business people that are teachers or counselors or um, anything um, needs to learn needs more awareness um, so then hopefully this doesn't happen again being a six-year-old being called on the police so okay um, I will do a um, video tomorrow about my surgery and how that is and everything like that love you guys like subscribe and hit the bell